Today is Wednesday and we're at Tim Hortons. We decided to stop for coffee on the way uh, to the courier and the boy's embarrassed because he's still not 100% comfortable with public vlogging. Oh, so he thinks that he doesn't even want to look at me. Like he doesn't want to acknowledge that we're together know. right now. <laughs> and I'm wearing my new purple lipstick. Careful, I'm gonna break that camera. It's got pointed the other way. <laughs> okay. Unless you're making documentaries about the movie. It's a nice camera though. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, what kind of megapixel you got? Um, it's probably like 20. Really? I don't know. I think so. Yeah, I'm not 100% right? sure, but. It's pretty high, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, a lot of the cameras are like that now. 24 is almost there with the regular. So. Last time I bought one, they were 10. I got one of those. That's crazy. <laughs> I never take a picture 20 megapixels. It's too big. That guy in the Tim Horton in the coffee shop was making me a little bit nervous. But he was a nice guy. He was, but whenever you're in the hood and somebody compliments you on something you have, you get nervous. I wasn't worried about that. I was worried about when he said, oh, uh, better point the camera the other way. I'm going to break it. Yeah, That's yeah, when yeah. I turned around and looked at him. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're going to break I don't think so, buddy. Yeah, I don't like him. But he was just saying that because he's so ugly that he's gonna break the camera. Yeah, he was joking around, but you know when you just never know what people? don't know though, right? Yeah. But he was a nice guy though. And you can actually take a, everybody can take a lesson from that guy. He's very outgoing, very nice. He spoke to us in a nice way. He was nice to the girls behind the counter. Yeah. Nice guy. Even though he looked like a... Yeah, someone that crawled out of the sewer. <laughs> I wasn't gonna go that far, but okay. It's like one time I was at this really shady bar. One time? With... <laughs> with Cherise and um, I, this guy started complimenting me on my ring. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. My rock. That's when I stopped wearing my ring to the shady bars. But to be honest, lately I've been wearing it anyways. Because um, I just don't like taking it off. Do the, what about the lady who, <laughs> the lady's like, uh, who was that, the, the top your ring? Oh my gosh, you guys, when I was at Henry's, right, um, buying the case and the, the lens for this camera, the lady that was helping us, as she was checking me out, she noticed my ring. So she's like, oh, I forgot to wear my diamond today. You reminded me. Is that real? She asked me if my ring was real. I'm like, yeah. And then she tapped it. Show her how they tapped it. I can't because I'm holding the camera. Oh, right. Yeah. But she tapped it. Can you tap? I don't understand. What's that going to do? I don't know. If it's plastic, it's still gonna sound the same. Or if, well, that's if true. It's glass. You can't. If it's plastic, it's not. But if it's glass, then it's, you know. I think it's. Why are you tapping my ring for? Like, who are you? Yeah, you don't touch other people's crap. That's crazy, like that. V. Yeah. Alright, we're at my mom's in her basement. Look at the chaos. Boxes Erware. So, yes, you guys, I'm preparing for the next batch. I'll show you the new labels. Cute, right? Shout out to my girl Ido. She designed them for me um, to help give the brand a fresh look. So um, I like it. It's not bad. I think I'm going to use this uh, look for a while. See how, you know, what the response is and go from there. Actually, we're just going to finish up the last bit of orders. So everything will be officially off today. Sorry, I know I'm not facing the light. There you go. Everything will be officially off today, and then the next batch will... Next batch will what? You know, be up, up, up for grabs, I guess. It'll be, hopefully I'm aiming to restock by the last week of February. I'd like to push it to March, but, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing it, you know, based on demand. Just talking about that thing that maybe came in the mail today? No, I don't want to. Ooh, secret stuff! Ooh. I have a secret. secret. It came in the mail, so it's just not pregnant, okay? Unless you can get them from the mail, which you probably have one by now. What the hell are you talking about? You make them hear you. know when you mentioned something that. that you're. It's a secret or some special surprise? Oh, yeah, whenever I say secret or surprise, people think I'm pregnant, yeah. So it came in the mail, so. Yeah. Unless we got a. A baby in the mail? Baby in the mail. Mail order babies? Do they have that? Is that such a thing? There you go. There's my mother. We'll get one from China, maybe. I, I have the flu sugar. 
She has a flu. Yeah, she's trying to help me out. <laughs> she says she has a flu. I don't know if it's the flu. It's something. I don't want it. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere. How's it going? Everywhere you go? That doesn't, that doesn't rhyme. Yeah, just, no, it's how close. Yeah. Look at the snow, you guys. Look at this guy. It's like 10 feet from the crosswalk. I know. Some people have no respect for life. It's snowing like crazy, though, Look for this real. Idiot. What a fucking dumbass. Hey, 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 language. Sorry, but honestly, this truck, like, what are you doing, you stupid idiot? You couldn't let him go? Causing an accident. Didn't make it, it's a red light. Poor guy. So I have a question for you. Cool. Since say Alaska. So Alaska, it's probably got snow nine out of ten months, or nine out of twelve months at least, right? Maybe even worse. If you could live there for free, <clears throat> uh, they pay you a hundred fifty thousand dollars a year just to be there. You don't have to do anything. We have to stay there for one year at least right so they give you a house for free all your food is free they give you 150 grand in your bank account right and you have to stay there for one year minimum not 11 months not 11.99 months you just go one year from that day would you do it 150 grand would you, have, you? you have a house alaska you have, you have food and you have 150 in your account or if you're Canadian Northwest Territories. Or even, yeah. Equivalent. We, we can go to Alaska too. Oh, we can? Sure. Well, I'm just saying. Oh, okay. We can. We can. Well, I can tell you that, um, I don't know. I don't think that they hate winter as much as we, or hate snow and cold as much as we do. Like people in general? People in general. I feel like we, like most people just deal with it. They're like, oh, it's not that bad. I hate it. I yeah, would those not. are the people that live in Florida. It's not that bad. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go. I don't think I would go either. Uh, one year, though. For a year. A year is a long time, man. Because even if they say you can keep the house, uh, what's, what, who am I going to sell it to? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> the wants next sucker who comes along for 150. <laughs> yeah, to me, I don't think it would be worth it. A year is a long time, and hey, you, that could be the last year of your life. We don't know where we're going to go. I don't want to spend the last year of my life. Yeah, there. you you can't you can't even um, leave. You can't go on vacation. No. You have to stay there for one year. For one year. You can stay around the neighborhood or whatever around the, the Alaska mm -hmm. but you can't uh, you can't leave right can't leave. no sir most people don't know that uh, we sold Alaska to the Americans for 480 million dollars oh wow you know the exact number yeah or 540 somewhere 480 to 540 somewhere around half, half a billion dollars in 1954 19 something like that right right Alaska, right now, is probably worth, if I had to guess, because of the oil, I don't know, maybe 150 billion? So Canadians are stupid is oh what you're saying. Oh my god, what a stupid, I don't know why. Oh I mean, damn it, can we have it back guys? Yeah, for the same price. <laughs> yeah, right. You guys, I'm so loving this lipstick by the way. I think it's really pretty. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, he actually complimented me on it. So. Uh, what? You don't want me to tell him? It's pretty. I like it. I said, are you still wearing that lipstick? He said, yes. That's a compliment. No, you said, I like it. It's nice. Remember when we were in the post office? I was just trying to get some. <gasps> I'm gonna work this thing. Oh, close down. Yeah, guys, we're on the Danforth. Um, I'm about to pay for parking. We're going we to Naro. Naro. Naharo. Um, it's a gift shop on the Danforth. They sell African fair trade African gifts and products. It's owned by Yemi and her husband. Um, shout out to Yemi of Shakara Naturals. And we ran out of soap. And I thought the first thing I thought was to go to Walmart to buy soap. And guess who reminded me that I'm supposed to be hashtag supporting a sister? This guy. It happened. Yeah, good for him, keeping me in check. So yeah, we're gonna go to Naro Black Owned to pick up some black soap. They're closing down. Unfortunately, yeah, the sign says closing sale. Let me zoom in on this bad one. See that? I'm gonna go buy some parking. I'll buy some parking. We'll spend some money here. Tony, pay for parking. Yeah, she's closing down. That's sad. 
a really nice person. If you ever get a chance, it's at five, four, three, down fourth Avenue near the Fox and Fiddle. She's super nice, and she has reasonable prices. And we are um, gonna try to uh, support a little bit here. She gave us some really good black soap before, so I'm hoping to buy a big bunch of it so Tony can make that liquid black soap which I really used a lot of before so it was nice it's like silky but it doesn't leave that you know like sometimes you get soaps and stuff like that and they leave that sort of film on your skin or you feel like you just can't wash it off this stuff does not and for my beard it was good I just washed it with my beard so we're gonna leave Marley here Marley say hi hey hey unfortunately it looks like they're having a closing sale so that's too bad, but you support while you can, right? Pretty. Sorry. <laughs> I know, sorry. I'm not trying to film you, I promise. This is pretty stuff. Well, we say she has the second best body because we say that one has the best one. Oh. <laughs> oh, that one. Boy. I like her. She's pretty. Let's see the other girl. Oh yeah, she's pretty too. So yeah guys, you can see all the amazing artwork and Whoa. items in here. It's like a hidden gem on the Danforth. I don't know, I feel like I'm whispering. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's all of their like teas and black soap and stuff like that. You can get bulk shea butter. Look at this. It's so heavy, I can't even pick it up. Oh, yeah, that's wicked. Yeah. Now, if I had somebody who could... So, we're going to pick up a few things. Yummy. So, it just says yummy everything. This is a big chunk of black soap that we bought last time. Um, they do have smaller ones as well. Like, this is a one pound bag. And this one, you guys are familiar with this one. So these are some um, Malachite bangles. They're semi-precious stones. I think I'm going to get one or two. They're $15 each or two for 25 mm -hmm. or three for 35 Pretty, right? I know it looks like they don't fit me, but they do. This job seems like it's on the wrong side. This is ebony wood. Well, that's cool. It's heavy, right? Yeah, it's like, I don't know, hand carved and it's 20% off. It's nice, right? It's nice. Can I get it? Sure. It's 24 with 20 off. I like her. I might buy something for my brother. Like what? I don't know, like a statue or something. Rich. What is this? 25 billion. Billion dollars. This is Zimbabwe money. 25 billion. I wonder what that buys you. Does that buy you a house or does that buy you a chocolate bar? I don't know. Now for a break.